Okay, welcome to my channel once again. My name is Tochi, and um, thank you for stumbling in this video. And um, you won't regret making um such decision. Okay, today I am going to be dishing out something new, something different, and um, it's going to be um my best forex indicator for accurate 10 pips for me and um my team also there are times that we want to um scalp the market but we really want to scalp the market efficiently we want to scalp the market and you want to scalp it efficiently and most times um some other persons might feel like um indicators are lagging and they are not accurate and all that so i'm going to dish out just one indicator which i like applying to my trade and on trading view is totally free so if you use trading view you can check it out on trading view and see the magic now i'm going to pause here to say this one more time this is in no way a financial advice if you're trading, you have to be responsible for your capital and you have to be responsible for the decisions you make. So, if whatever you learn on this video or totally on the videos loaded on this channel, you want to start implementing it on your live trading, I would like you to test run it on the demo account. Then, if you see that the win ratio is on point or you like the win ratio then you can furthermore um, um do the same thing on your live trading account so with this said i would like to jump into the business of today um which is my best indicator normally i i, I advise people not to use indicators and all that but there are some indicators that stand out there are some indicators that stand out okay like the indicator which i'm going to dish out today is known as traders dynamic index that is tdi now the tdi is a very powerful indicator the tdi is a very powerful indicator the tdi has the ability to tell you the market trend is it an uptrend? Is it a downtrend? Now, still with the TDI, it has the ability to still tell you when you should pick a trade. And also, the TDI has the ability to show you what RSI can do, which is um, oversold, overbought. It can still show you that. And also, one more thing, TDI can still show you divergence just one indicator applied to your screen um can change everything like i like saying i prefer using one hour one hour one hour time frame i prefer using one hour time frame so if you want to test run it you can try it on other time frames if you wish but for me i am comfortable using one hour time frame and also i'm going to refer back to the old video which i i mentioned that this is going to be a series so if you've not watched my video on candlestick patterns on the three best candlestick patterns to look out for you can scroll down on um on my channel you will find that there also so you can watch that before you get onto this video so that you can get it clearly like i said there are three candlestick patterns i look out for which are inside bar bullish engulfing or bearish engulfing then um railroad track these are the three candlestick patterns inside bar bullish engulfing or bearish engulfing railroad track so all of these can be bullish or bearish and all that i explained it in the uh previous video and this is the second video so if you watch that one 
this is the right video for you to watch after that one. Now, getting to it, if you're new to um trading view, you can look at look at this point, you will find indicator. Now you click on it and you get down to and you look for TDI that is Traders Dynamic Index TDI. CDI Traders Dynamic Index. Um, there are so many people, but I prefer using the one from um, Bloom League. I like this from Goldmine. I like this. So I'm using this one. So when you click on it to apply it to your screen, you find it at the bottom. You find it at the bottom. So <coughs> sorry, I got you. I would like to apply some little changes to this. I'm not changing the figures, I'm just making it more clearer. So let me um expand the window so we find the window well clear. So I click on settings from the TDI settings down here. I can decide to the um the band. I'm going to make the band um sky sky blue because I just need it to be very very clear. Sorry, okay. Um the and um the middle of the band i'm going to make this yellow very sharp yellow which is going to be very 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 clear very sharp yellow which is very clear then the slow ma um uh, that should be green so fast ma that should be red yeah clear now my levels so these levels are the region of your oversold and overbought so you can decide to tweak this ones if you like but for me i leave them that way because i don't make too much use of it and plot um background i check it out because i don't want the background blocking my view and i check this out because i don't want the background blocking my view that's it then the slow ma i think i will make the line thinner so that i can uh see it very clear good this is preview you can be seeing the preview then i think let me make this lighter okay let me make it lighter okay so with this now my tdi is already set my TDI is set. So, if you're looking at um the TDI, this is the TDI or normal, it should be like this. But just for the sake of me wanting to explain them in details, that is why I'm spreading it out so that we can all understand. Now, the TDI, like I said, has so many so many uses but i'm going to be focused on oversold and overbought only i'm going to focus on oversold and overbought like um you know once something is oversold uh it's going to buy once something is overbought it's going to sell so simple that is just the um that is just the main thing with that. Once something is oversold, it's going to buy. If it's overbought, it's going to sell. Then, um, with TDI, we find lines, the red one, we have the green one, we have the yellow one, and we have the band. The band, uh, this one down here, this one with the um sky blue that is the band so the band it's um is will be the one guiding the three lines of the uh tdi it will be guiding the three lines of the tdi 
So I'm going to explain um the lines of the TDI in details now. First, uh, we start with this the red line. Now the red line is the trade signal. The red line is the trade signal. Now, this means whatever the candle does, the candle goes up, the red line is going to go up. The candle comes down, the red line is going to come down. So, this just simply follows what the candle does. The red line follows what the candle does. That's all. Then the green line is known as the RSI line. The green line is known as the RSI line. That is um based on what we are going to be doing today. Um we will not be focused on the green line. No. All we need is this red line. This red line is the point that we need. The red line. Then the next is going to be the um yellow line the yellow line is market baseline market baseline if the yellow line goes flat if it goes flat like straight on this line if it goes flat it means we are on um we are not on a trending market we are on a market that is just uh not selling and it's not buying so much. It's not selling so much. It's not buying so much. So it's, we are on a ranging market. That is when this yellow line will be flat. But when the yellow line goes up, like protrudes up, the, um, it's pointing that we are generally on an uptrend. If you produce down, we are generally on a downtrend. So I'm not here to teach mainly TDI. I'm just here to show you how to use it to efficiently and accurately grab 10 pips. Grab 10 pips. Now, with this said, I would like you to pay close attention of how I use this. How I use this. Now, I focus mainly on shark fin. Now, what a shark fin? Shark fin is just a region to show you oversold and overbought. Now, this Bollinger, this band is like, um, take it like a river. Take this line like the upper part of the river and the lower part of the river. Now, if the yellow, if the red, um, line comes out, of the Bollinger out, out of the band, if the, if the red line comes out of the band, then we are seeing and goes into the band again, comes out of the band and goes into the band again. Then we say we have a shark fin. Example, look at this. Look at this. It came out of the band and went inside the band again. This triangular shape we can emit uh we can target shark fin now this shark fin is showing you that this market has been over bought this market has been over bought that is what this is telling you so if something is over bought we sell if it's over bought we sell now let me point another one this is also a shark fin. When it comes out and goes in again. When it comes out and goes in again. Then we say we have shark fin. Same thing applies here. When we have this and it goes back again. We're like, oh, we have a shark fin. That is just how we spot it like we have a shark thing now also we look down here once it's out of the band 
down here we can't say we have a shark fin down here we can't say we have a shark fin here no we say we have a shark fin down here because it came out of the band and is going inside the band this is what we know as shark fin it came out of the band and it is going inside the band now how do we combine these details and make a perfect trade um okay and make a good trade let me put it that way how do we combine these things and make it a good trade okay now we would like to refer back to those candlesticks which i mentioned in my previous video three my three top candlestick patterns which are bullish engulfing bearish engulfing and um railroad track railroad track now anytime you find a shark fin anytime you find a shark fin anytime you find a shark fin e.g. this now what are you looking for on the shark fin when you trace this upward what do i mean i mean when you take this upward okay let's drag this line um vertical line once you place this line this way where it went back into the band that is down here once we trace this upward we are seeing where the shark fin itself occurred we are seeing where the shark fin occurred okay now for us to take a trade we need to see a bullish engulf a, a bullish engulfing candle we want to see a bullish engulfing candle so once you spot a bullish engulfing candle coming down here and it's a bullish engulfing and a bullish uh railroad track or a bullish inside bar once we spot it with the same level of this and the bullish since this is oversold now the bullish engulfing should be the one dragging this inside i'm trying to make this very easy the bullish engulfing should be the one dragging this line this line inside the band it should drag it into the band also now once it drags it into the band the actions you take there are instant buy for 10 pips instant buy for 10 pips then once you are up 10 pips you close instant buy for 10 pips or you can have the instant buy one position and you go backwards to implement another buy okay uh this is going to make more sense when we get to the chat but i'm trying to look at a nice easy explanation okay like this down here we will say this is a shark fin but we can call this a shark fin now as this occurred as this shark fin occurred what are we waiting for now we are waiting for the corresponding candle that is when we draw this upward we are waiting for the corresponding candle these two candlestick pattern we need them that is these two candlestick pattern form the shark fin that is we are meant to sell these two candlestick pattern down here they formed that candlestick they form the shark fin sorry this and this now we need this two candlestick to be a bear a bearish engulfing we need a bearish 
inside bar or we need a bearish railroad track for us to implement a 10 pip sell down here but when you don't have it we leave the trade let it run it's as easy as that we leave the trade to run so the next one um so right now we're going to um if you still don't understand what i'm trying the, those candlesticks um pointing at you can take a stroll down my page and watch three top candlestick patterns then you get what i'm saying now let's get into the chat and um remove I'm taking this downwards. We've gotten the image of what we need. We've gotten the um um we've gotten the idea behind the whole thing. So right now we are we want to be looking for um oversold and overbought. Then we want to watch how we are going to implement this. Okay, I've seen one now down here this is sharp thing down here is a sharp thing now how do i pick this trade how do i pick this trade now i'm taking this this is not a must you can still do this and spot the corresponding candle but for the sake of this lecture let's just go with this now once i spot this um candlestick this sharp thing that means these two candlestick patterns are the ones that formed this sharp thing these two candlestick patterns now what candlestick patterns do i have there i have um this bearish candle and i have this bullish candle now if i have to combine these two candles what will i make out of this candle what will i make out of this candle these two candles are inside bar how do i call the inside bar check the previous video you will be able to understand this two candlestick pattern here is called inside bar now after this candles appear after this one appeared in one hour next one appeared in one hour and closed here you must allow the candle close closed here now what i'm trying to say is first I enter an instant buy 10 pips from here one but if it starts selling more I will come down here here at the bottom of this and wait to enter a second entry and wait here to enter a second entry and when I pick that entry I won't allow it to get up to the first 10 pips. I might take this entry from here to here. Or I will take it from here to here where I entered my first entry and I close. Or if I am okay with the trade, I can allow it to run. But so that you don't get greedy, because here there is no much analysis done. Just spotting the shark fin and spotting the candlestick formation. I'm riding on with it. So my first entry, the first one, let me change the color. My first entry is the white line. My second entry, if only if they start, they don't give me the profit and they start going down. I take this for another buy. Then I wait. If it still goes down, I'll wait again and take a second buy also. A third buy, sorry. And hold it till it gets to this white line that i close then from here going upward i'm off 10 pips i'm i'm done i'm done 
walk out from the market by just putting this. Now, let's look for more. Let's look for more. Now, down here, I have this shark fin. I have this shark fin. Well, the candle is small, but for the sake of the lecture, uh, just point this. This is a shark fin coming out good, but now I have to check the corresponding candles that formed this shark fin. The corresponding candles that formed this shark fin, a shark fin is formed when it comes out and goes inside the band. When it comes out of the band and goes inside the band, then you call that a shark fin. Then you can correspond it with the um the candlestick pattern formed there this now if i take out this line if i take out this line then you will see that this two candlestick pattern is an inside bar like i will tell you i always like to pick the first entry straight up as i'm as the candle is closing i'm picking the first entry down here now where will I pick my second entry? If they don't go up to my, if they don't go up to my take profit, I will come down here and pick the second entry. If they don't get down to 10 pips, I will come down here and pick my second entry. Okay, from here now. See that? Oh, sorry. Let's go with this. From down here, I'm already done with my 10 pips. This is 13 pips, more than 13 pips. I'm already done with the 10 pips. Um, I saw another one. Uh, okay, 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 I've seen it. So another one. Down here. Um, I think I can see a shark fin here. And it went inside here. Now, with that done, I will spot this. Okay, now, this is when it went from down here, it went inside. Now, these two candlestick pattern, this one, this long bullish candlestick pattern, the long bullish candle, and this tiny red combination of these two candlestick pattern gives me an inside bar. How do I treat it? It's very easy. I come down here and I enter the market instantly. After the closure of this candle, I pick this trade instantly. If they don't start selling 10 pips, I will come down here and I wait for it to enter again. I will come up here. Sorry, up a little bit down here. And I'll wait for it to go down more. Then once it gets down more, I will take the 10 pips and leave the market to ride on. 10 pips and leave the market because you're not making analysis, you're just capitalizing on oversold and overbought. Now, these are just inside bars, inside bars, like this trade, if you have taken this trade, then you will see that getting your 10 pips was not even hard, because down here, it went more pips, but you are just focused on 10 pips. Now, let's look for more, I'm just spotting the, okay, now, look down here. Now. This is a shark fin, right? This is shark fin. Very, very, very correct. That's a shark fin. But now, where are the candles that formed the shark fin? Let me look for them. Now, we have one, two candle. Now, the both of this candle, why I won't pick this trade is because 
the boat of this candle does not belong to the league of the candles I mentioned. This is not an inside bar. This is not a bullish, a bearish engulfing. No. This is not uh, a railroad track. No. So these, I'm not going to pick this trade. That means I'll allow this trade to run. That is if I'm capitalizing on this. Okay, look at this now. Now, down here, down here, I spot a shark fin down here. Good. Now, I want to check where are the candles that brought this inside. Now, the two candles are this, this and this. Okay. Let me explain this better. That is this and this. Pardon me, I be sounding this way uh, because I have a bit of a flu. Sorry. Now, this is a bearish engulfing candle. A bearish engulfing candle and a shark fin. Then you can hit the cell. You can hit the cell. It's very, very, very okay. Now, this cell, I can decide to pick this cell directly from here. Directly. I can start selling right from here. I can start selling right immediately from here. Then, where will be my next cell entry? What if they keep going up and and they want to stay go up. My next cell entry will be this on this tip. Now, if I'm selling from here, then definitely I'm going to stop on my entry point, which is this. That's 18 pips. I'm going to stop. Then this first entry will be knocked out in zero zero. This coming down to hit out in zero zero. Then I'm out with 18 pips. That is just how it is. So, um, let's see if we can find another. I think we have another here. Okay, this occurs so much, so much. Like, you could have so many trades. Okay, this is shark fin. Sorry, it's being blocked. Okay, this is shark fin. Nice one. How, what and what from the shark fin? This can do. And this candle good now after these two candlestick occurred uh, combined with this shark thing after they occurred next thing i'm doing i'm entering instant execution buy taking the buys from here at the close of this candle let the candle close before you take a trade i take the trade from here then what if I take the trade and it keeps coming down? And that's what you say. And it kept coming down. By now, I'm losing so much. Let's say 26 pips. Now, if it keeps coming down, my next entry will be here. Entry for a buy will be here. If I take a buy here, then automatically i am going to end that by when it heads up from here i'm taking the buy down and i'm stopping here which is 30 pips which is the first entry down here or if i don't want to get to 30 pips then i stop at 20 pips or i stop at the comfortable position whereby this is no longer is a combined loss when you combine the loss I have here and the one, the profit I have here, the loss will not be much. I hope you understand. The loss will not be much. So, with this, uh, okay, I think I've spotted a railroad track because I wanted to show that before I end the video. I don't want the video to be so much long because that, uh, this is not a full analysis video.
shark fin, nice one. Now, what brought the candlesticks up? What brought the line up back? If you watch it, you will see that we have um two candlestick patterns here, and the two candlestick pattern we have here are railroad track, bullish railroad track, one and two. You see that one and two. So after the after this appears, instant buy. Instant. There are some that once I spot them, I just keep stacking up. Like I take the positions up to like three times, and once it hits take profit of ten pips, I'm done for the day. Just go about your whole, your whole day and work all through. From down here, when you measure, I'm already up 20 pips and that's all. This is a no-brainer. You don't have to um, draw up so much analysis and all that. There is no shark fin here. Uh, sorry, the one at the bottom. Yeah, I've touched this. And um, uh, no reasonable candlestick pattern here, although there's a shark fin. The same no shark fin here and here also. So with this, I will need to go back, practice on your demo. Don't practice on your live account. Practice on your demo. And once you find any challenge or you're watching it and it's not really um, clear to you, we still have um can still take you on um a personal lecture um to show you more things and even an advanced way to apply this also to so combine it with your analysis. When this meets your analysis, when you make an analysis and the both of this meets your analysis, giving you a candlestick pattern. Uh, giving you oversold or overbought, you will know that that is like a triple confirmation and then you can enter your trade with confidence. Even if it's still going against you, you still know that this trade is um, taken for so many good reasons. So, I'm going to leave you with this to watch and digest. If you have any questions, you can hit me up and also I offer a free um free signal group for now at the point when i'm making this video it's free you can um look up the description of this video down you will find the link to join the group and also if you want to hit me up you can also hit me up via the group and ask me questions that you really don't understand i'll be willing to explain to you and you can see ask under the comment section and before you leave after watching this video i will like you to subscribe to my um channel so that once i drop the next series this like i told you is a series um video so the next one once i'm going to drop it you'll get the notification and so on so thank you all for watching i remember my name so chi um keep living in the atmosphere of peeps may the peeps be with you <laughs> Take care. <laughs>